speaking much, I'll probably just be laughing all the time. <laughs> just That's make some like a uh, break background noise. Yeah, I've never done anything remotely like this, so uh, it should be interesting. Yeah, I've never done anything important. What are you gonna do with your life, Blackwise? Yeah, <laughs> not me. I don't do that kind of stuff. This will be good. Oh, cutting the stream for a second. Hold on. Except the sound. Said. So we've got Wapa and Balian in a big number scrim. So hopefully we'll see 15 to 20 on the side. Um, silly question, maybe, but normally the um, European streamings are like very with the deep insight on the game and tactical reviews and oh this guy's very good at doing this and this guy's very good at doing that and blah blah yada yada yada. How do you guys do it? You know, you are is welcome it same to or is just commentate about that the game? way if you want. Um, we kind of watch and observe things that are going on and like things that we've done in the past is talk about the match itself, what's going on, and talk about um, what people are doing in the game um, and what we've seen in the past as far as strategies go and that sort of thing. So, but you're welcome to okay. also with, say whatever. Uh, if certain clan camps are rock. Feel free to yep. talk about how nice the rock is for you. Last night, for instance, we had a mountain climbing uh, with beer. It was very educational. So you're segment. welcome to kind of screw around too. Hi, hi. By the way, people commentating, I'm Beowulf, Wolf661. Just call me Dale. I think I gotta turn you up a bit. I'm gonna do that now. Hey. Right. Cool. Hello, I'm Eduardo. I'm your Mexican commentator. False. Alright, try that, Dale. Ah. Uh, there we go. Named his lying bastard. Whoa, 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 what's happening to the server? Oh, well, I Somebody gotta break it. Or did your game just break? It seems only the TMW survived. Am I going to need to be given streamer status, or, or are they going to just set it to, uh, like, 
free spec. Most likely just be set to free. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, we'll, I assume. I believe we'll just have it uh, uh, yeah, free movement. I don't think this is too official. It's just a scrim, so. Yeah, it's true. Plus, most people are pretty chill about the whole free spec thing. I mean, no, does anyone really like ghost? And even if you do ghost, does it give you that huge of an advantage? It's just gonna be a lot of cab spam anyways that wall palm down. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, true. Random planes probably. The worst map ever. Totally not saying that just because I suck at it. No, totally. No. Yeah, we're sure you have a good reason. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'll be getting something to drink. Alright, have fun. Something with caffeine. Yeah. Something with alcohol. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just get absolutely smashed and then start the stream. <laughs> Probably make it more interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Or just completely derail it. Which still might be funny. In the admin with an amazing 25 uh, kill at the same time. And another 12 person kill. Good kill, no. good fight. I totally missed it. <laughs> that was one of the most exciting duels I've ever seen. <laughs> yep, definitely. Uh, it was very exciting. If, if any of you missed that, <laughs> you should probably just... Juve is really good with chambers. It's actually insane. You can see him like even when he's using like a sword and board, he'll just chamber everything. Did you see the the spin before the before the the chamber? It's really cool. Yeah. 
No, that was, was a bad. chamber block. Oh, that was pretty uh... That's the way you got that one. That oh, chamber responds to the faint, and that gave him the advantage there. Wow, that's impressive. Pretty dominant mm -hmm. performance there. Most likely gonna see an open map choice from Valiant. That or runes. Usually won't deviate from them too. Hopefully runes, because that's a superior map to planes. Planes is gonna be played either way. Yeah, that's yeah. true. It's such a Wapa map and such a valley in that. But they seem to be missing Red Knights. No, Red Knights there. Is it? Can't yeah, you see. It. It's, uh, there is no god. Oh, okay. Really He's the probably biggest the biggest counter. Yeah. One big thing Walpaw has going for them into this is they're really good at these high numbers and still staying cohesive. Yeah, that's true. One thing uh, I've noticed is the Balians don't have like uh, impressive uh, great cav, but they do a pretty good job playing with each other. And they have uh, intense and great teamwork on random planes, especially the cav. Scott, right? Yeah, I agree. I'm as soon as we get here, here too. Looking forward to see how Billion deals. Oh, Scott Ray's here. No, Scott Ray's pro pretty damn good Cav. <laughs> I still think he's much better going in versus infantry and put than he is yeah, that's true. other Cav. Get him a heavy horse and he just bumps everyone to death. Frosty battle. Wow. That's, uh, that's different. Oh, Billion's yeah. been practicing on that one though. Oh really? That's yeah. cool. It's a pretty good map, I guess. It's crappy. It's all bugged and the trees are all bugged out. <laughs> it's still done planes. Last time we played against the balance there, I killed two of them by just spamming between the trees. Wanna so. cut the video? So we feel free to. Keep it shows. What was that? I'm glad they picked a different map, it's not just gonna be something usual. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it works with like, uh, how many people are here, uh, just like, whatever huge number of guys they actually have. Because the only time I've played it, like, Pretty small numbers. One of them was like in the five v the nation's five side or whatever. The uh, this, this. I'm just wondering if it'll make uh, all the uh, trees harder to use or something. I don't know. So. Um, or something similar. Did they uh, pick a faction yet? Don't think so. It's actually a really good choice for Rebellion because there's a lot of cab traps in that map and Alpa's not used to it. It can basically relate the cab. Just going to the to the side of the map using uh, the forest, the hills. I still think that the cat can help a bit though if you're like in that forest. If you just uh just bump right. 
Oh, we, maybe. I mean, if they're on, if they're on the windmill, then it's kind of tough. But I mean, if if they get away from the windmill, more into the uh, open forest part, away from that one rock that's near the windmill. I mean, I think Cav can do work there. Uh, I was actually thinking about Frosty, the one battle on ice instead of Frosty battle. Maybe. Yeah. No, this is the uh, ENL one, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's based on the windmill or on the ruins. It's yeah. Interesting map. You just have two choices: either go to the windmill, and both teams go to the windmill, and there's a clash right there on the beginning, or the both teams just pick a different place uh, on the windmill or on the ruins, and they're probably gonna wait the master of the field because the open space I between think both it's big. I think they'll just go windmill. Uh, which side? I have no idea, but I'm not sure that they will. Because if they have yeah, like to go ruins, that'll be pretty lame. Yeah, but I like this map because most of the times uh, both teams go to the windmill because that's the um, the smartest way to go and the biggest defense point, and you control all the map. And uh, when both teams get there, they just face each other, uh, and they go for a epic uh, clash and fight, which is quite interesting to watch. And the cab always seem to struggle around that area. I've seen a lot of cab getting stuck on the windmill. Do you know where the Masters spawns are? I haven't actually seen one go to Masters, I don't think. There's... One the ruins the wind. So they're pretty close uh, to each other. So there's one ruins, one windmill, and no other one. One red in the middle between both the uh, between the windmill and the ruins, and the other two are just ah, close okay. to the ruins and the windmill. So it doesn't give you much advantage. Okay. Well, if you have like a like a lucky get, and you go straight to the place where the flag's gonna spawn. But the, the flag near the, the ruins seems to be the hardest one to, to take. I'm sure it's tough if you got somebody camping there. Yeah, I have to take if you already have one team defending the flag. Especially that archers we're gonna, they're going to just go near the hills and the fence, which uh, protects them from the cav. Um, and it's hard for um, the attacking team trying to get the flag to actually get there and not be killed. You guys need to go get the chat more. Just saying. Oh, I'm watching it. Okay. <laughs> Oh wow, i never seen so many battles in my life. <laughs> Actually, I never saw any screen with so many players. A lot more infantry and archers than I thought there would be. Basically, what uh, Wapa is doing now doesn't give them much advantage because they have no flag I, I don't think it's it's gonna get reset. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah but if they do that, it doesn't give them much advantage. Yeah, I'm sure they'll go serious when uh, the whole thing actually start actually starts. Um, on the windmill, what do you call the, those things that turn the paws? I don't know, really know uh, the name. The rotating. What the fuck is a windmill? I have no idea. 
Yeah, no, uh, I got stuck know. there so many, right so many times. Blades. Because there's blades, a gap blades. between the yeah, the plates between the plates and the actual the, the wall, and you think there's a gap and you can actually go through with a with a horse, but you can't and you get stuck there. <laughs> it's quite a Yeah, but they seem to be doing the same thing, getting on that hill near their sp Not taking a lot of map control, and Valiant has near complete control of the map if they want it. Yeah, that's true, I mean, yeah, they have the whole uh, windmill and forest area locked down. I believe the windmill is the key to control the map, and probably win the rounds. Because if the flag spawns, you're always going to be near the flag. Plus you have a, a lot of places to hide and defend yourself. A lot of trees, rocks, Is walls. Is Wapa trying to set up like a crossfire or something? Or are they all in their spawn just shooting? It looks like they're all just at the spawn shooting. And there's a couple of guys on the on the hill on the on the left of their spawn and there's a, some guys on the right. Yeah, they're not too far out though. No, that's some interesting loss. Oh, Zero said to make sure that we make fun of him for being bad. Uh, by the way, uh, Zero is bad, and the fact that he just got killed is probably good for Valiant because now he can't shoot them in the uh, back of their heads. Because that happened in Valiant's <laughs> one time, and we won the round because of that. So, yeah. Love you, Zero. Yeah. Shout out to Zero. Do you, do you have a delay? Do you have a delay on, on the stream? Uh, it's about 5 yeah, seconds right now. Uh, so I guess this be a arranged fest going on here. Really, at the fault of Walpaw for just sitting at spawn. Yeah, I'm thinking they didn't. Valiant has control of the windmill, the forest, and the ruins. Yeah, they basically control all the flex. But I might be wrong. There might be a flag near the the Walpaw spawn. Not sure. I really doubt it. Oh, there's a couple of guys on the run. It's like mad dog peasant. So uh, I can't tell who this uh, spawn benefits. It's definitely better than what could have happened for Wapa. Yeah. Now the barons already are in the flag. They still have crossbows on the on the windmill, which can provide a crossfire as soon as Wapa tries to get the flag. Yeah. And Wapa seems to be moving. Yeah, they've on got the five guys all run. there. They're uh, they're really gonna need to. They've got about ten seconds to get there. I don't think they're gonna be in time, even if they move right now. Yeah. That doesn't get look shot. good. <laughs> Yeah, what I said. Plus, they gotta watch the cab too. Shield. Going to that hill doesn't give you an advantage at all. Two good kills there, though. Puts it back even. Well, it looks like Valiant wins it by raising the flag. Yep, yeah. they got it. Oh. No, I guess one of them got close. Got one on it. Last second. Ah, oh, damn it! If he didn't, if he didn't walk out of there, he probably could got it. Well, that's a disappointing first round. Hopefully, yeah. Well, I, I have to think that Wapa would change their strategy. They probably yeah, just not use the map. The same thing. Yeah. yeah. That was the closest flag that they will ever have. 
The so other flag will spawn even further away from them. They either so take the room. Let's a little bit more. We got two infantry. Oh, what, one archer. Three infantry. They're really wanting to avoid directly uh, attacking Bally. Yeah, I would venture to guess that they're not familiar with the spawns of Master either. Yeah, I would agree. I just don't think they've played the map enough. Yeah. Because, I mean, they can definitely push Bally in there. But, like, I don't understand why they're not doing it. But the Bally's are pushing now, which is going to be interesting. And then there's these two, uh, or this uh, archer over here with his infantry buddy. That's going to be tough for him. Small engagement. With all the cav. Yeah. I think the balance don't have a need to just go in into that that trap. There is their spawn. Yeah. They so got far, a, been good, but got pretty decent. The guy held out for a decent amount of time, but he was way too isolated. You just cut him off with part of uni stuff. In, but that's nothing new for him. Plus the fact that they split it uh, on two sides, one group staying on spawn, and the other just going to the ruins, mainly with the archers. Mainly, they. they, they they lost their infantry on their spawn. No, they're just mainly archers. They don't have a very good spread either. I mean, Balian's all around them. Yeah. Yeah, I think Balian's just gonna keep up just shooting everyone on their team. Scott's way is going in, trying to take some archers up. It's not going fine for it. He's probably going to get killed by that crossbow behind him, the guy that's yeah. the cat right was just going after. Not Carl. Oh. Balian, now with the plunge. Ron just knocking people down. The same thing with Peasant. Peasant on his game tonight. Yeah. Yeah, th these maps do tend to favor crossbows instead of archers. It's not helping that they're keeping all their archers in a single place, though. Yeah, and without infantry to defend them. I don't know. Wolfo had a lot of infantry over at Ruin. I think they had more infantry than they needed there. Yeah, but they lost some... Infantry also on their spawn when the the Balians rest. Walpaw switching to more cav now. Probably gonna be a lot more aggressive. Yeah, a lot of cav coming. Balian and gun with the same thing. Looks like there's more crossbows, however. And they seem to be going to the windmill. This is gonna be an interesting clash. Yeah, Wobbot going for the straight push. A lot of infantry, a lot of cav. But there's a good side of this. The Barians can easily retreat to the trees and the rocks and the little ruin back because they have a lot of places to, to hide and still keep controlling that area and be defensive at the same. Oh, Wobbot's pushing up now. Good engagement going on here. Not really favoring anybody though. No. You're gonna take a kill by Honey Badger. And the Mbellions might take this. They seem to be more organized and together.
and Angus just won the round. Yeah. Alright, I think he's got this. I believe in him. Pretty good cap. What will Wop Wopa do this time? They haven't taken the ruins properly yet. Oh, okay. Cap's That's spent. a lot of cap. <laughs> 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 oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> might work, might work. It looks like someone didn't spawn on uh, Wopa. Nope, just getting get him. Spot. Just a looks like spot. they're not waiting around. They must have gone straight for it, but they uh, took it a bit. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this is going to go well. Oh, There's man. too many <laughs> obstacles to do. Look at the crossbows up there. Line. And both yeah. of the uh, that is both those uh, freaking uh, on all those pretty uh, much untouchable the there. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I under the impression that Wapa doesn't know this map at all? No, I, I'm sure they. Yeah, don't. I mean, I'm sure they don't. Yeah, I, mean, I don't really care who you are in Wapa. Even if you have a great lance, I don't think you'd be able to kill those guys. <laughs> That was still a fun effort. Let's see how it goes. I mean, it's not over yet. They see a lot of cab. Lost five. A lot of cab going six, down, and guys. Angus just. Angus is just rocking. Yeah, I think that's pretty much uh. It's okay. That Scott Ray's dead. Uh, Megatron is down. That was a good chance. <laughs> that was a good. I wonder what they will do on the on the swap. Probably going to the windmill and range spam. I guess that's their best uh, shot at winning the these rounds. You never know. Maybe they'll come up with something clever that nobody actually uh, knows about. That'd be cool. I bet the, the balance will be very uh, defensive and just take the runes and wait to see what Wapa will do. I wouldn't pass, put it past him to go uh, one mil though. Maybe. Honey Badger is apparently the best around. <laughs> Nothing's gonna keep him down except for Smacktastic. <laughs> he might get smacked down. The thing is, Balin is doing what Wapa should do on uh, on the other spawn. As soon as they spawn, they just go to the windmill, and they already have the windmill now control the map. Has joined the channel. Balin just being aggressive. Those zero headshots too. Oh, Zero actually killed someone. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another one. New record. I always, I always feel proud for some Brazilian friend to kill someone. So, I'm quite confused now. They seem to be all spread it apart. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, there's probably a goat see and Balian is just good being aggressive. There's this uh, Taylor guy fighting alone against three or four of them near the Valiant spawn. I think he's gonna get put down pretty quick. Zing, there was Scott Ray, Juve, and yeah, I didn't think I was gonna end well.
Whatever this game is easy, if you got this. Too well. Yeah, I just don't think it's a good map for him, you know? It's kind of hard if Valiant well, can just get into a good anti cap position. Valiant's been playing this on their server, and it's on their regular rotation, and this isn't in any other uh, North American server rotation for, like, Publix anyway. So they're all used to it. Yeah, that's true. None of the Wapas are, and that's the biggest, biggest thing. Here, just people not familiar with the map. Oh, this sh they should be. These maps have been on uh, on most of the populated servers for almost a year now. Yeah. Well, that's well, in Europe. Dude. This is in Europe. <laughs> we don't play in North America. <laughs> no, th that's not the point. <laughs> People should adapt <laughs> and learn new maps and new things, not because it's European. We made these maps because we were tired of the native ones and we needed something new and something competitive. And these maps were made to be competitive and to be played on clan matches. So, I honestly would expect to see American clans be used to it by now. I mean, I think like... Yeah, actually, I don't know any other clans that really are that used to it. I mean, I do like Valiant server though, so I you, a lot of times we'll play there, so I'm kind of used to it. Too. Yeah, honestly, I, I, I think it's time game. for us to get another go-to server or force Palm into, you know. Yeah, I don't think Palm's gonna... There's some new maps um, on the CNL cycle, so most of you guys don't know these maps that been have been played for one year, and there's another. Uh, some new maps already coming as well. That should be cool. Pretty psyched. I made one of those maps, by the way. Pretty right. awesome one. Should play. Shoutouts to making maps. And made. I spent two months doing that map. That is just doing work. You never know though, I think Wapa should just look to the next map and just pick planes and do their Wapa thing. You know, I'm really Will curious what'll happen because Bellions have been doing planes a lot too, and they do it way different. I mean, they, they do it how you would expect planes to go, not all cab in Swadia. <laughs> um, so I'm curious what, yeah, what they'll true. do against what they know is coming with Wapak Cab Spam. I mean, even if you know that Wapak Cab Spam is coming now, it doesn't mean you can stop it too. I'm not so Maybe. sure. I think they'll have an answer. I hope, I hope they have an answer. Yeah, Valiant's got those <laughs> pro strats. For being answered to Cab Spam. Um, well, I mean, there's gotta be something. I think Mad Dog just went through the uh, windmill blade. You did? Fire. Bastard. I always get stuck there. It's maybe, like, uh, maybe it's because I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Lose a couple pounds and you'll be able to get through the uh, thing there. Maybe I'm running, getting the wrong angle on it. Peter Lou calls this a troll map, therefore it's wrong and doesn't count. Reschedule. Now, I don't know though, how can you actually like beat cav spam? Because I feel like if you just cav spam on the right, pikes. and you just... Pretty easily. Yeah, but they can just... Well, no, but then they can just wait for masters, and then you just take it. You gotta get kind of lucky with master spawns. You have to bear in mind that uh, when you have uh, an old clan doing a, a cat spam, you have actually two or three guys that are actually good at riding a horse, and the other five, six are just awful, and they will bump everywhere and go against each other and screw um, their own uh, teammates. And you have you need to have that into account and export. Um, I, I gotta say, like, Wapa is very good at not getting in each other's way. They, like, yeah, practice, practice. Nope, they they practice so their cab spam. 
It, they're better than anybody I've seen. I, th They've made I thought it worth mentioning. I thought it worth mentioning that I've been talking this entire time, but my microphone was turned off. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, Quack Quack. Good fight. Thank you. That's good. So, what are your thoughts so far on this map? Uh, I don't know. I've I've said a lot. I don't really remember too much about it. <laughs> I, I started to question myself when I addressed a comment to Bayo and he didn't say anything, and then to you and you didn't say anything either. Made, and then I was like, wait, <laughs> something's going on. Well, then the important thing is that um, you can tell. they actually uh. Well, pa is getting really well, pause getting owned. Zero is bad, and uh, random planes. Random Those planes. Thoughts. You know what? I would never give you that an answer. Come on. Can I know. Well, that's why I started to wonder. Hey, show clockwise. Can they actually pick planes, or is it actually open? Or uh, is this open? This is medium, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is medium. Next. Yeah. yeah, I think this is classified as mixed. And I'm late to this party. Who's that? Definitely? Mm, yep. Cool. Yeah, I'll have nothing worthwhile to add to your commentary, so. I don't think anyone has anything worthwhile to say. You just say words. Mm -hmm. So basically, Wapa didn't know this map, and they lost heavily. And random plays for, for the win on the next uh, map, and let's see how it goes. Looking forward to see Zero doing his magic. I would think it would be really cool if Wapa just picked like some map that just no one plays, like Battle on Ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fetish with that thing. Forced hide out. No, Battle on Ice sucks, but it's still fun. Because you can go and be all tactical in the trees and stuff. And... Yeah, we never did a, a battle on Battle on Ice. Uh, no, on uh, that stupid map with the forest and uh, the, the catwalk. Forest hide out. The, the yeah, forest, forest hide out. Forest hide out. I don't know what's on the mind of the devs when they made that map. Yeah. If they changed the spawns, it wouldn't be that bad. If they remove all the trees, it wouldn't be that. That wouldn't be a forest, then it'd just be like a grass hideout. With a lake on them. But we should try it definitely to have a clan match. Just for the so fun. No, we should have they played against yet? TLD. No. I don't know. I mean, I'd be surprised if they didn't, though. I mean, they might just pick like. I might be close, or uh, this map might be open, so. I heard people complaining about it in the uh, chat. Nah, uh, Frosty Battle is open. So I guess no, uh, no random plates. I would consider this a mixed map, no. Yeah, I would agree oh, with that, no. that's their saying too. I'm just gonna go beat up Marnum. I'm actually pretty surprised this is called a mixed. There's ruins to hide at, or I don't mean open. It's uh, this is open. ruins. Ah, uh, ruins is mixed. No, I'm I'm saying this has ruins. Saying? This has oh yeah closed areas. Why is this an open map? It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's not eh, that's all dumb. But whatever. Yeah, this should not be a open IMO. I made a theory for that uh, some time ago, that if a map is not uh, like 80 or 90 percent without obstacles, it's a mixed map. Yeah. To be an open map, you don't you don't have obstacles at all. Yeah. Well, you can can still have obstacles, but a very few, like only 10 percent of the map. 
Oh, here we go. Yeah, but I mean, I see what you're saying, though. Like, Field by the River and Snowy Village are both wicked different than the whole oh I, I don't think they have to reroll. Wait. Cliffs. Is that Cliffs over there? I think that's Cliffs. <laughs> Has there ever been there. something where Wapa didn't reroll? Actually, scratch that. Has there any been anything where some clan didn't reroll? Was this live? I guess this is not live. I don't understand why it wouldn't be. There's, I mean, I there's some hills, but I think they're live. No one expected this to be live, to be honest. I know. I guess it's live. Well, it took them a while to. It's an interesting take of Nords, I guess. It's kind of cool. Yeah, that's different. I mean, I guess, yeah, that makes sense though, because Vagers and, uh, Swadia both got picked. Wonder if that was oh, in the, uh, Balian gameplay. Uh, take away Swadia and, uh, yeah, so they couldn't have it on random planes. Ranger is having an interesting fight here against Recaps. He's He's doing well so far. Well, was doing well. Commentator curse. And a rage. And then he... he. Let's just say he, like, lagged out or something. <laughs> the game crashed when he died. Oh, I think it actually did crash. Probably, like, threw his computer out the window or something. Uh, so far, this seems so confusing. Uh, oh, there we go, another crash. Let's so, have place over here. The Barons have yeah. a lot of cab, right? Uh, uh, they have three, or two archers, two infantry, so... It's not too bad. And, uh, Warpa seems to be hanging around this tiny tree. I'm really surprised that they aren't mostly Kev. They've got a lot of yeah, that's sound. It's not like yeah, them at all. What is Wapa. going on? What is this? No rerolls and Wapa's going most mostly <laughs> no. Sign of the apocalypse. That was a damn good shot on that uh, on Mad Dog. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about that. Mad Dog, Mad Dog died. That's a nice kill though. That's sort of one archer at least. That's a big loss. Just, just need. To... And Angus. And you need. Zero's gonna get. Uh, Zero's gonna get headshots probably. So if they could kill him, that'd be uh, definitely helpful. Yeah, when it, when you look on the Bellion team, uh, even if they lost uh, one good player, they always have someone to compensate, so it doesn't make much difference. Well, I haven't seen Dead random planes Jeff. without Swadia for a very long time. Uh, indeed. That's because of the Nord choice. Very good idea. Yeah, but I think they uh, they picked... The reason why they picked Swadia on... Uh, uh, the map performance was to try to get it out because Wapa yeah, get has it out of the their cab is definitely best with uh great lenses. Yeah. yeah, like they're pretty annoying and I mean they're still good, but if they're using great lances it's just like death. It's still pretty even numbers, but that's not good. Guy losing his horse there. Yeah, one of those one losing his horse. I'm really surprised. Why are they charging spears? That's a bad plan. Oh, whatever. Two kills. It helps. But... Yeah. Well, that's a good attempt. 
Well, Wapa's probably gonna go more cab heavy, you think? Yeah, mm, they have to. They need to counter. Yep. Oh dear <laughs> god. Guess what? All, all cab? Slightly more so cab heavy, yeah. I guess. And yep. last guy? Let's see. Yep. Yep, all okay. cap. <laughs> there we go, balance is restored. Balance still though with those spears. That's gonna yep. be a problem. And at least one of the archers I think has a spear, right? Balian has this really nice yeah, thing their no spawn idea. too. They could take the archers and the infantries, but they're on a, up on a hill, which makes it uh, quite hard to take them down. So, they either go cab on cab, which is a gamble, or go with masters of the field, but that's not going to happen because the Balians are all over uh, warp on cab. Balians are just going to be a total pain mm -hmm. in the ass for everyone right now. Especially, Especially with take advantage the of the jab uh, cab, there's not weak squadron horses. And then all those jabs, that's just brutal, that just sucks. That's just like harassment. Mm -hmm. And Scott Alou said, right, jab cab like a motherfucker. And there we go. It's lots of people dying because of jab cab. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually like nothing more annoying than a good jab cap player. I don't know, maybe if they got like some quick kills on the archers or isolated a cab or something, they could bring themselves back into it. Like, that helps. I mean, they can still come back. Yeah. yeah those jabs are hurting a lot. I wish Plus, I could I mean, kill probably jabs like jabs that. by now. Because the Bellion seems so relaxed up on that hill. Yeah. They're moving up now. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I think if they attacked him now, they might do pretty well. Like, I don't understand why they're not, not pushing him. They probably just don't see it. They're probably afraid. Because they have less numbers They have now. the weak Saren... Well, they have the weak Serenid horses too, but... Still, I mean, if you, if you can take advantage of one of them not paying attention for a second... I gotta say, those guys on the ground, it's a scary group to run into. It is, but I mean... Even the archers, like you got Peasant, Zero, and Juvenile yeah. there. All three of those guys. Yeah, take all competent guys that'll just archer. headshot you. Yeah. Yeah, just headshot you right off your horse. Mm -hmm. When I play against the Berlins, I'd rather not go against their archers, because I know it's not going to be good. They're always <laughs> paying attention, they always pretend they're not paying attention, but they are paying attention. And their accuracy is pretty good. So it's first rate. It's really hard to take down their archers. Oh, sorry, I said something good about Zero. He sucked. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, Zero's horrible. Never mind. He's the worst. I mean, look, they just put themselves back in from, by taking out Cav. If they can just <laughs> kill a couple more Cav, then wait for Masters. I like this uh, Scuttaloo guy, Coats. Well, this is boring, so I'm going to torture myself in four minutes. I call that a rich quit. Uh, yeah. Well, the random cool. planes frustration. Uh, I think the stream is down, or it might be, or is that just for D-Man? Uh, let's see. If it's no, the stream is up. Uh, D-Man has an issue then. He's got D-Man problems.
Yeah, it might. That's helpful. Oh, I don't it is. Uh, um, yeah, Wapa. It needs flash to play the ad, so he probably doesn't have flash, or it's not updated or something. But if he just waits uh, like 30 okay. seconds, the ad will end, and then the stream will pop up. <laughs> Somebody should give... Oh, hold on, I might have got this. Ignore the beeping, just copy and pasting something. Seconds left. Why did Wapon not rush those flags? Or are they rushing the flags and just losing? Oh, looks like it's the ladder. Yep. It's time. Yeah, I don't know. They could have had that. I just. Again, that's probably a very good idea. Jesus, an archer. On. I guess there's two archers. Oh, and Thor's infantry. It looks like we're gonna have some uh, fun camping here. Uh, by the way, stream is not laggy. I am uploading it and downloading at the same time. It's fine, and it's good. <laughs> stream is good. I said Steam. Yeah, it's Steam's good too. Shout out to Steam. I can always try to do better. But yeah, hey. Eh. So, on right now. <laughs> Clockwise to join the channel. Uh, Clockwise. Apologies, I'm bad at technology. We've noticed someone that spent most of the stream. Uh, or were you saying that, Fenner? Yeah. I was just saying there's a lot going on right now, being sarcastic. Billion has a really nice spread with uh, Archer and Infantry set up. Yeah, Wapa has a nice spread with, uh, Cav and a couple archers. Yeah, I don't know. Well, this pretty much, uh, you know how the whole stream I've been saying that Random Plans is the worst map I ever invented? Go on. Just want to be on the record as... Random Plants is pretty much the worst map I've ever invented. <laughs> yeah. The smart thing would be, as soon as they reach 4 rounds, they would swap teams immediately. And not re-roll the map again. Yeah, because it's not balanced, because they can just choose... Uh, whatever like they the want infantry for, the, for the other teams, they can totally screw over the other up. teams. Uh. Oh, looks like we got some RP here. I would uh, assume that Mad Dog is giving inspiring roleplay speeches to his men to get them uh, <laughs> psyched for battle. Plus, I bet all my money that the flag will spawn on the Bellion's favorite again, like they always do. Bellions seem to have some luck with the flags. I don't know what's going on there. Probably yeah, have. Look at the 
Uh, you know, looking at this now, I'm pretty sure that the bad nasty team is all cav right now, and the good nasty team is the infantry archer gun. Huh, that's weird. That's pretty awesome. That yeah. fly those flags are like <laughs> Who designed this map? Like, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> it's random, man. Yeah, random flags. Yeah, random it's like <laughs> I guess when it's random the flags spawn in the map corner away from anyone. <laughs> that makes it like completely irrelevant. Yeah, it's a weird algorithm. Now why see the why isn't Wapa going for it? Because it's too far away. No, but Wapa could just send their cab. That's what I meant. But they're gonna have to now. I I'm think not they don't know. I can't really talk. A couple billions. No, I think they don't know where the flag is. I mean, I respect the uh, aggressiveness and charging their infantry and stuff. Like that's cool and all, but I don't think it's really gonna work very well because this is kind of. Jeez, they just. So oh, they to get the, the balance archer combo is ridiculous. They try to get the balance when they move to the flag, or not letting him go to the flag, but nah, didn't work. The hill again. So I haven't. On the I haven't really been here, but what have what have Wapa been doing? I mean, or what have they not been doing mm. to make them lose like that? Not been doing. Playing well. They, you know, really, you're just. Well. Yeah, you're looking at. Uh, the, the grouping that Billion has just dominating. I, I, I really think, think like, looking at this now, I'm pretty currently. sure it's the, the good and bad teams split. Those guys are just really... That's such a good idea, to too, because that's... Yeah. yeah, it's like, you get the chemistry between uh, each of the teams. Well, has been changing Plus their tactics to split around. People up and say, They're uh, all infantry now. Oh, that's interesting. Hopefully we'll see a uh, shield wall here, with two ranks. <laughs> One can only hope. Hopefully we'll, uh, because that man, who is that, man without the helmet there, he has the shiniest armor and the shiniest bald head, Thor. He will be, uh, leading the roleplay champs and shears. <laughs> Do you think, uh, Wapla just give up on this? I think no, I mean, if they haven't won with... No, they haven't no, won no. with Serenids, hey, 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 which hey. is the best uh, Cav faction, comparing to the Nords. They won't win it with the Nords as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. They, they don't, I don't think they've given up, though. I mean, that's, look, they're, they're not doing bad. They got a kill. Unix is landing those javelins. Yeah, they got their but best see, now they're gonna get so. into the, uh, they're getting into the uh, infantry now, so you never know. I mean... Oh, the javelins throwing axes and uh, arrows—that's just deadly. Yeah, projectile, freaking mm -hmm. craziness. So, they need basically to win. They need to take out zero Angus, Ray, Scott Ray, and Matt. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna go well. That's pretty dominant performance by Paladin. Yeah. This is just a bloodbath. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to have. I mean, yeah. honestly, honestly, I think the one problem that uh, Wapa has had the most is there hasn't been enough like RP speeches. Like, <laughs> that always helps. Just, they just seem uninspired. I know TMW always has shield wall practices and a uh, good speech. Archer lines. Coming. Oh, archer lines too. Preferably RP speeches, shield walls, and archer lines at the same time to triple the effectiveness. Yeah, uh, flying bees and all that. Right, right. At each of our bi-weekly practices. Yep. So the Bellions won, yada yada yada, and one more round. And not yet, done. not yet. They can, uh, they can tie this map. Wap off the pilot's map. Do you honestly believe Plus, that Wap off? gonna come back. We'll get... You never know. I mean, it's possible. They, they, they haven't won one round yet. 
There's a first fire. I can all the men. They're just going downhill. And there's no way to turn it back. Well, down. someday maybe TMW can get a weapon. Yeah, that'd be the first time to that, so don't give up hope. Hey, we did yesterday, or we, well, actually, nope, never mind. I retract my statement. We actually You're right. <laughs> we lost good. that one round. We lost, oh my, stupid balance, stupid random planes, zero's bad. Yeah, dirty balance, zero is bad. But we didn't lose some random planes. Yeah. We lost the final, it was 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 and then 3-1. Was it the last map, random planes? No, it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah, one's was. gone too. Yeah, it was. River. Uh, reroll. Yeah. Hey, yeah, what kind of car does a Wapa drive? A reroll okay. Royce. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, I, I, I still left today. Yeah, there we go. Some more band jokes. <laughs> Oh, you said you some? Make that in chat. What? <laughs> Lava trees. This seems to be like a good map for. I do respect. Uh, I respect Wapa for uh, playing the whole thing out, though. That's cool. I like mm -hmm. that. Still have a chance. No, they don't. They could tie this map, right? Yeah, they'd uh, still lose, but I mean, the... I still respect that they're playing. That's cool. Is Serial playing right now? No, you could do... Mm -hmm. the tab button. I'm not actually in the game. No. I'm just watching the stream. Oh, look who's coming. Who's joined? Mock. We'll pr probably uh, get troll. Oh, yep. And Mock Hatred is a go in chat. Shoutouts to Mock. <laughs> He's a cool dude. We should say that to the social phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, it's just Mock. Mock joins the server and then just everyone just like. They gain this unity and just hatred. <laughs> yeah. That's Mark's cool dude, though. I, I don't... I don't mind Mark. Mark's a cool guy. Now I'm probably on, like, half the clan's death list, but... <laughs> whatever. I found it funny how Mock joins, he doesn't say or type anything, and everyone goes, fuck off, Mock, get out of here. <laughs> Alright. And on another subject, uh, scrims. How about that? Um, they, they happen. Uh, Valiant Rage <laughs> Dirty Valiants. Looks like they're missing some infantry. I'm really curious why. Skeptic was on his own by the tree, leaving the archers to die. Serial has joined the channel. You know what this channel needs? This is a pirate joke. Oh, hey, please. June by Serial. Yeah, and there's a response to that. Hello, Serial. By the way, people commentating, I'm Beo. Uh, all of you should say your names. Well, no, I'm Clockwise. No and I'm Serial. <laughs> I'm not telling my name. He's main. Main, you are one handsome man. Yes, yes. And this is oh, thank <laughs> He's a dirty European. Dirty Portuguese. 
No, the European is not a nationality. They're all dirty. That's close enough. So, Sir Uriel, your comrades have uh, fought valiantly today. What's the score? Doing all right. Just say that the Belgians didn't lose one round. So, eight. Yeah, I think that's over map, now. Five on the second map. Well, Balian just came out and just did really good. <laughs> just organized. I mean, they won in spite of zero, which is a feat that like any normal clan could just not accomplish. So kudos to them for that, definitely. It's very hard yeah, to, to be to be good at something. Well, I mean, zero's not, so and that just backs let's up Let's make like a hypothesis. checklist of people that we've offended. I think we can just say the whole country of Brazil. <laughs> Check. I'm pretty sure we've insulted all of the Pa as well. And also I think, yeah, I think we've insulted point. every... What, which clan haven't we offended yet? I've made fun of TMW, too. KOA's pretty bad. Oh, yeah, KOA is bad. Especially Fenar. That was horrible. We uh, haven't talked about Navino yet. Navi no, don't Navino's not Navino. bad. Uh, Navino's well, good. Yeah. Uh, what other clans are there that I haven't made fun of yet? Just quickly. Uh, gotta, WK. Gotta carry this up. Oh uh, yeah, WK is bad. Marnin's bad, etc. Dolph. Dolph and Roth. Let's not go there. <laughs> is Roth still around? I don't even know. I think they're Hello. reforming. Isn't Mr. X here? He left a while ago. I like that one guy trying to chop down a tree. That's nice. Peasant. Keep at it. It's an odd angle that he's chopping at. I don't really understand. You'd think it would like hurt his back to do it that way. <laughs> Trying to carve his yeah, name. Yeah, those are some great respect to uh, right. Wapa for sticking there for the whole th Trying to carve his name and he's illiterate? Yeah, he's, he's, car he's carving a... Uh, Putting an X uh, there. ...peasant plus mad dog. And they, uh, like a heart around it. That's how you get promotions. Wait, wait. So I've heard. Get around here. If Cheese Pizza was missing all the time. And there, nope. One of these days, that tree's gonna break. <laughs> the world's strongest tree award goes to this tree yes. that the peasant is carving his name into. It's like a smaller, that's a pretty pathetic tree too, actually. Apparently not, because it's made out of like freaking metal. <laughs> spin there but not <laughs> working out see why would he shoot that guy he's gonna go over and fight him oh, oh now why God. would he put his shield down <laughs> and they still don't <laughs> well, well, come on man what's she doing stop being some Pringles actually that's the wrong use of the word Pringles but still Jeez, what a uh, what a dirty valiant thing to do. And sorry, this game's almost over. So, or kind of is over. I think I think Main is joining the uh, Balian team. Have we right. made fun of GK yet? Uh, I've heard that we can't. And I think that uh -huh. comment uh, just allows that that allows it to count as making fun of GK. <laughs> it's okay. PRT. Oh, PRT hasn't existed for a while, but we can still make fun of them. NK? Lord Raid and the BKS. Oh, more like bad kid stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Deep. That was beautiful. What? About Raid Psychic? 
What about that Nightmare new, difficulty, uh, uh, easy clan? I can't make fun of those guys, those guys are pros. They'll activate the trap cards all over you. Uh, the wolf pack clan. What? What about the wolf? Just for uh, good measure, which is pretty... They're horrible. Oh, we're going to Europe here. We're just making fun of American clans. Or North American clans. I don't think European clans really need to be made fun of. They speak for themselves. Yeah. No, no, they just go randomly pick up players on a lot of clans and just kick American ass all the time. And, okay, people <laughs> we defended, check off Europe and, the Uni and all of America. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got Brazil, the United States, and the all of Europe. Aren't there some oceanic clans out there we can possibly take a stab at? Uh, I don't know. They're not relevant enough. Sorry, if you and want to. oceanic clans. Oh. Check. <laughs> there's any penguins flying down in Antarctica, you suck too. Russians, Chinese. There is Chinese server there. I don't know if there's any clans. On their though, cracked never... version. <laughs> okay, wow. Okay, so Asia is a, uh, let's go check. We're just missing, uh, Africa and South America. BR, BR, way, 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 way. All of South America's bad this game. And, uh... Leave Africa alone, maybe. Just leave, leave them alone. There's a South Africa Are there any guy that used African to hang out with somebody's, uh... Th no, there's one guy from South Africa. Africa used to hang out in somebody's event. He was a cool guy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if anyone actually like, plays or, or at least involved in the community. It's almost like Warband isn't a well known game. Huh, crazy. And crazy. all Mountain Blade fans offended too. Sweet. <laughs> Okay, basically, if you move on Earth, you suck this game. There we go. That's, that should be enough for You guys have all seen the uh, learning curve. The learning curve chart, right? Uh, that's right. stolen from somewhere, though. Somewhere on the forums. I'm at the warband learning curve. Yeah, I have to go find it now. Is it a graph? Learning. Cool. It's like a picture. <laughs> Kills by cheese. <sighs> well, I hope you enjoyed my one sentence that I spoke. I'm gonna be heading out now. I think we're about to you close late, this dude. one down after this uh, little fight here. Thanks yeah, for. Um, probably should have been done a long, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. Was the uh, after. I hope you enjoyed the first half of the script. Oh, I haven't heard about uni uh, for a long time now. Uni, you do. I guess he's not. What? Your voice sounds so deep, Uni. Oh, hey. Uh, I just realized my pa actually managed to win somewhere along the way. So basically, Wapa wins. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Wapa wins. Yep, yeah, though, well, that's a good game. Uh, Wapa won, and uh, good job, Bellion. Nice try. By the way, uh, follow the stream. I'm just gonna be that guy right now. That's okay though, because I'm not Fenor. Here. It's not my stream. <laughs> That's my Valiant Law. Yeah, follow it. Alright, thanks guys. Main has left the channel. Yep, we're off. Main has joined the channel.